Oh, good morning. You're listening to CFRC 101.9 FM, CFRC.ca. It is 11 o'clock and it's time for the CFRC Live Sessions. I'm your host, Rue. And today I'm really excited because we're joined by a band who's come from uh, about, what, 6,000 kilometers away? Joining us from Vienna is the band Lucy Dreams. Thanks so much for having us. Hi. And yeah, on the plane, it really showed the, the kilometers and it's, it's just mind-blowing to be to be over here Um Far away from home, playing shows in Canada. It's amazing. Thanks for having us. We're very excited to be doing this session. I think you're our first um, international band from outside of North America, at least. And definitely our first European band. And uh, you guys as a band are a very different band from what people would normally think of when you say someone is a three-piece band. Um, So we're joined by, I'm going to use your stage names here. We've got Zero and One. And you have a third member as well. So why don't we introduce you to our listeners? Yeah, 100%. And also uh, from our side, hi to uh, all the listeners of CFRC. Um, We are Lucy Dreams from Vienna, as Ru correctly said. And there's the two human band members and one artificial band member. Uh, The artificial band member was sort of a uh, fooling around in the studio. So we just tried to couple, uh, like to chain a couple of um, effect pedals that we still had from our days in the indie rock bands and we chained them it was seven of them and all of a sudden the system we sent sounds into the system and the system started to create a life of its own it began with sort of an, an, an yeah white noise but all of a sudden there were patterns that we found in this in this white noise and we started to adjust a couple of parameters and uh, these patterns became more and more clear so we said, okay, why not use these patterns as a basis for new songs? And it happened like over and over again. So we're like, okay, this system has developed a life of its own and it became sort of the genesis of the band. It became the center of the band. It became the name-giving instance of the band that is Lucy. Some people call it the ghost in the machine. You guys call her Lucy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And uh, working with Lucy is... As, as for us as musicians, we've been around for like 10, 15 years. Um, and it's pretty much the most exciting thing that we have we have come across. That's why we have decided to give her a name, a voice. And we also find a visual repre- representation of her in the in the studio. Yeah, which is which comes out with you on stage as well. Um, but let's go back a little and like establish this timeline because as you said you've been you both have been doing music for a long time and musically your sounds as like your preferences in music have evolved quite a bit like I heard you were coming from sort of metal punk backgrounds uh, to like indie rock all the way to this very different sound so how did that come about? Do you mean like the our inspirations what yes. we love to, to listen to? Um how did it happen? It's a good question. Um, I would say for me or for us, I think we have a quite uh, influential musical background from our parents also, like from our family and um, got a lot of influences from, I don't know, uh, for me, uh, I listen a lot to jazz, Jimi Hendrix and Jimi Hendrix was for me always like this huge thing of experimental world and so this was also I also was looking for stuff that stimulates my brain somehow because when you listen now to this commercial kind of music it's not so for me for my personal side it's not so interesting to listen to so I was always looking for new stuff that's keeps me it keeps me musical alive somehow so um, yeah it <laughs> it's just an interesting story that you have this face in your life that uh, of, of, of music that stimulates you and you want to perform and then you pick out stuff and put it like into your file and then you go to the next chapter in your life and then you have this quite interesting journey of musical influences yeah let's put it like this <laughs> and now you guys are here making something that's quite different from what i would say any other band at the moment is doing because you've sort of you you've got like almost a deeper connection with the sounds going on because you've identified that those sound patterns 
almost take a life of their own and you've given it a physical manifestation that also comes on stage with you so i kind of want to talk about what it looks like when you guys are performing live in front of a crowd mm so Lucy always has the first words. So Lucy always introduces the band and the show and um we try to in in um in a live show we always try to engage with the audience in in the best way possible because playing live just is the purest form of music. It's the the shared experience that makes music come alive for real. Um we always give Lucy the center of the stage because she is such an integral part of of the band itself. And um other than that there are two um two aspects that we always try to include in the in, in the live show as, as as good as possible. And and Stefan meant uh, the uh no uh, s- talked about the the getting lost the being inspired so the the mental aspect of music is super important the the psychological aspect that people sort of can drift away can get lost in what we call dreamland in in a space beyond reality where they can f- find escape only to find themselves that's the one aspect but obviously it also has to be physically moving so people should be um shaking should be dancing so those are the two sort of uh, ingredients that we always try to add to to a live show and then we just let the, the the moment take um take the stage and see see what happens and as i said because of this like playing live is is just the purest form of music and we're lo- really looking forward to um playing here in kingston tonight uh, yes. at the mansion so yeah that's probably the next chapter to talk about. And also really excitingly people can hear this as they're listening to this on radio or watching this on the live sessions YouTube right now. So shall we go into your first song? What are you going to play for us? Yeah, 100%. Um the first song is called Rosalie. Okay. Let's listen to it and then we'll come back and talk more about Absolutely. it. Absolutely.
We are Lucy Dreams and you've just heard Rosalie. We're back here on the CFRC live sessions. Lucy Dreams are joining us from Vienna if you're just tuning in. They played um a song um is this uh because I heard that you guys are working on a new album that you've been recording quite recently in fact. So is this one of the songs that we're going to be hearing on that album? Uh it was already released on our first album, but yeah, you're right. Uh, we are working um on an album at the moment. Stefan had this amazing idea to go to a hut in the middle of the woods in the Austrian mountains and would you like to go into detail on that <laughs> yeah well my 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 main thing was like i was talking to david and uh, i was saying hey we we really need uh, we should do an album so uh, doing like the next step going to the next dimension and i uh, wanted to be really lost somewhere in the woods in the mountains and have no contact to people just to animals and the nature and just waking up in the morning and s- sit down with coffee and just really create and write and it was such it's it's interesting when you are in this kind of flow and you you lose time and space somehow and you you sit down and then uh, obviously look on the wa- uh, on the on the clock and it's i don't know 11 in the evening and uh, it was yeah it was so interesting because we we went there with we just really we started from the scratch so it was like crazy because we have already nine uh nine to ten already really not finished ideas but quite quite um quite finished ideas yeah and the sorry to interrupt you and the the interesting thing was that we went to this hut and as uh stefan said yeah. starting from scratch and i was like okay that's that's interesting we had demos before and uh if we go there and really start from scratch let's see what happens um and it went so well and the fact that we really started from scratch uh led to us, I believe, really finding our sound. Uh, so we have obviously influences from everywhere, as you said, metal, uh, pop, um, classic, also being from Vienna. Um, but with this one, I think we have really managed to merge all of these influences into uh, something completely new, um, a synthesis of everything that has influenced us over the past. And we decided to call this this new style this new genre our new approach to arts we decided to call that sonic wave art pop okay um yeah i was gonna ask you about sort of like you know when you see kind of electronic and synth musicians working in like environments that seem so removed from this kind of synth and urban kind of thing does that impact the way you make the music? Because uh, I guess you were saying that you do look to tap into something deeper when you're making your music. Um, but then with the kind of instruments you use, how does that kind of play into the music? So I would say we largely use conventional instruments like the bass, guitars, synthesizers, and then in the studio, drums. But what's probably interesting or unique about Lucy Dreams is the creation of the first ideas so how these first ideas come into come into be and this is where lucy uh, comes in again so there is a certain limit to uh, sort of performing music um, because you only have so many instruments those that were invented maybe sometimes you i don't know add a trombone or whatever um, but there are limits in terms of creativity there is infinity you can always go as far as possible as deep into your own psyche as deep outside into the universe as you want so i would say it's more the ideas that's that's special about lucy dreams Mm -hmm. um and you're gonna play us a second song um tell me a bit about this song and how it kind of fits into the bigger idea of uh sonic wave pop art um it's called love and it is our most recent uh single i think it was the the portal into the dimension we are in now so it was the first song where we had the impression okay this is interesting this is new this is surprising 
also uh, to us um, in a my, my favorite pop podcaster is uh, Tim Ferriss and in one of his episodes the w art was described as it has to be both uh, surprising and predictable so at the same time or surprising and um, yeah a different word for predictable but you get the idea mm -hmm. um, and for us all of a sudden okay yeah it was meant to be like that but still at the same time it was surprising bold um, but also musical yeah exactly yeah exactly that's it and um it's yeah an, an an homage to whatever people associate with love um whether it be you know uh, interpersonal relationships that you really uh, treasure or really loving somebody uh, your partner from the bottom of your heart or just embracing a nice walk in the afternoon which also can be love so the universal language of embracing appreciating something um, is hopefully reflected in this song and we'll hear a little bit of it right now here we go with love So this was love from us, Lucy Dreams.
We're here on the CFRC live sessions. If you're just tuning in, one um, one more performance by Lucy Dreams. Uh, I'm your host, Drew. And, uh, you know, you guys have come all the way from Vienna. So I guess I have to ask you about the music scene over there. You guys have been in so many different kinds of music scenes. Like, I, I know that you've kind of been in and around punk and metal and stuff like that. And we definitely hear that in your music. You've been into more kind of alternative indie stuff, but also on the kind of club scene. So, like, tell me about, like, the whole music scene that you're involved in. The music scene in Vienna, it's uh, such a diverse and rich, I wouldn't say it's huge, huge, but it's really, really um, very big already, I would say, with a lot of uh, bands like Bilderbuch or... Um, we have such acts or as uh, My Ugly Clementines or Leia and they already played also like uh, in, in the Northern American country, uh, continent. So um, it's very supportive, I would say. It's, it's a nice thing to have where you are involved to interconnect with people and uh, to enriching your, uh, yourself with the the ideas of other people and the other musicians which is art in general right yeah it's it's um i mean me i'm i'm coming from a, a um, we we both come from uh not direct uh directly vienna we come from different areas of austria and moved to vienna um because uh, there is obviously not everything going on but most of it, I would say, is uh, so in the musical scene, everything is like meeting in Vienna <laughs> at one point. So um, at one point you decide to go there and um, to meet other musicians and have those influences of these beautiful people. And then you have different projects. And then I met David and uh, one hand uh, lends to the other and... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's just a journey with l listening to different stuff. It's the same thing with playing with different musicians and have those k this kind of journey. And um, so <laughs> I don't know. It's what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly very interesting, yeah. and I'm I'm sure that like all the different scenes that you've been in yeah. have played a part in your music. Mm -hmm. um, but looking forward, um, you know, you guys are doing something quite different with Lucy as a concept. Yeah. I know a lot of people are interested in that. Um, where do you guys see the future of music going? Like, you know, you're a band that kind of mixes in some elements of technology. What do you see happening in the future? Um, it's unpredictable. It is. Um, especially in, in these days where AI takes over so much. So basically you can write a song uh, uh, with a twinkle in, like in, 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 in one second. Um, but what I believe is that creativity will always stay with humans. So there is a spark, and that's what our first album is named after, a spark that I have the impression only humans can really really produce i don't think this creativity this love for the for for the arts can be reproduced by a machine obviously um the the results of this creativity can be reproduced by machines but this initial spark this um you know um I think it was Da Vinci with with the hand of God, um, where where you touch the divine. This is only possible by by human creativity, and to develop new genres, I don't think that machines will be able to develop new genres. Um, the originality and the motivation. That's right? exactly the point. If you think about hip hop, if you think about punk, it always needs this, as you said, the 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 originality of something more. Than just arts, some th some some cultural movement that can only be created by by humans and by uh, in in a community of, of humans. So there will be interesting developments on uh, you know m machines helping to um, to write and produce music, but the initial spark will, and I don't say this lightly, will hopefully um, stay within the human realm and the ability to reach out and like connect with people as yeah. well i think you still need the the emotions and the feelings 
in the music so it can connect to people because the people think I think people just really need to connect with the music made from people mm. so and I think then those kind of waves and vibes will match up with other with the other people and I think machines won't be able to create emotions or feelings I would say maybe they try but <laughs> 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 but, but I don't think so I'm yeah. going to link this back to your music because like, you know, speaking of all this, your song was just called Love and you said this is going to be on the upcoming album. So, you know, I think our listeners would want to keep up with you guys and know where to find all all the the upcoming album and anything else that you're doing. Where can they find you? So, probably the best uh, place to visit is uh, lucydreams.net. Uh, so, all in one, lucydreams.net. And if you're interested in, uh, we are around in Canada for two weeks now, which is still for me incredible. Um, it's lucydreams.net slash Canada, and you'll find all the dates. So, we'll be in Toronto tomorrow, in Sarnia on Saturday, and then next week we're in Ottawa, Quebec, in. Uh, London, Ontario, and in St. Catharines. And yeah, it's just, uh, let me mention it one one more time. It's just uh, incredible for us to be here and to be playing our stuff to Canadian audiences. And I'm sure they're very excited as well. And for our Kingston listeners, they are playing at the mansion tonight. You're opening for Aqua Muffin, who are doing their 30 year anniversary show. And it's just such different vibes going from one artist to the other. I'm very excited for that show. Um, What's coming up next for you guys, though, after this? Like, you know, the tour is over. Are you going to be playing, like, festivals at the end of the summer? Or are you just going straight in to finish the album? Um, both, uh, hopefully. Uh, we have uh, <laughs> an interesting show in Vienna coming up, uh, the the Waves Festival. Um, and then in October, we'll be in the UK for five uh, or six shows. So music will definitely keep our brains and our hearts busy <laughs> that's amazing but we're uh, i'm excited for your last song because it's something i don't think people would have expected even knowing that you guys are a pretty unpredictable band to start with so tell me a bit about this one um it's a cover song um and uh Stefan had this amazing idea um, of covering a song by a band from Sheffield because it was in uh, it was in October I think when it was the third time that we played Sheffield in one the course of one year and Stefan was like okay why not why not cover a song by by a band from uh, Sheffield and I was like yeah hell yeah <laughs> um, so we decided to cover the Arctic Monkeys um, mm -hmm. and what we try to y you said it art uh, needs to be um both surprising and inevitable um we said let's not just cover it let's create an homage to the actual song but only in our style and if there is a second song with which we probably have found our sound then it's this one yeah it definitely sounds like d even though you know what's coming it definitely sounds more authentic to you guys while being a faithful cover. So I'm very excited for this one. We'll go out with that and that's going to be our last song for today and the last thing you'll hear from us on the live sessions. So Lucy Dreams, Stefan and uh, David, uh, Zero, One and Lucy, thank you guys for joining us today. Thanks so much for having us to the whole team in here. Thanks for inspiring questions, Ru, and to CFRC Radio. Shout outs. Thanks I'm so pleased to have you. <laughs> guys in the monitor. This next one uh, goes out to CFRC, to the three of you. Thanks so much for having us. Um, and maybe in particular, even a little more to Ru because we talked about it before. <laughs>
Close tonight. 